today watering. It's starting to just keep things alive. That's so exciting. <laughs> One bucket at a time. That's pretty much how I spend almost every morning. Water all that stuff out there. I'll show you. And my fence fell down again. Isn't that exciting? Let's redo that again. But we worked really, really hard. I'm still feeling hard. I have to see it. We worked super hard yesterday trying to get some of these posts in the ground. We've got cows that are going to be ready either Saturday or possibly Monday. Just depends on when we get to them, I guess. We're hurrying. And we have to fix the side fence. Maybe you can tell it's just like laying down right there. But, um, so what we decided to do was, I'll show you. This is all going to be my garden. The house is going to be right, right over there. So this layout is going to all be my garden. I might put some goats back here in the back corner just to help me control this. Once we start watering it, it's going to be full of alfalfa and grass. So here is an entrance way so we can drive our trucks, <clears throat> excuse me, down here and get into these back fields. So we put a post here, a 16 foot entrance way so we can put a gate and then, um, sorry, it's kind of a jiggly view, but see how we've been driving back here from the front, we can drive back to this part back here, either to water or to go back into there, clear to the back, back white fence. And we figured we would put the fence right through here and that we're gonna use the storage bin that has all of our stuff in it. And it's going to make some shade here for the animals and we're going to put those posts right here. Uh, a post in the front and a post right here. And up top, we're going to make some type of a shader. So they'll have some afternoon shade. And the anim once we get those cleared out, the animals in the front, as you can see, will have some morning shade. And we'll put some poles there and make a shade on this side too. Anyway. This is what it looks like. Now we just have to finish pounding those into the ground. We only got them in to the thing. So what is that? Um, almost a foot. See? And you'd have to put them in another foot. So my plan with all of these, see how many there are, is to moisten the soil around all the bases of all of these and let it soak in so that we can come back through and pound them in, all of them in another foot. And we put them uh, eight, eight feet apart, I think, because then we did down here on the back side of our house. You can see that pile. That's where our septic tank is. I'm um, gonna be the fields back here for the septic tank. Anyway, um, back here is where we can drive to access because we are going to put a barn right about here, right out here later so that we can access it from all sides and house the the cows and eventually the horses. So um, this is a 16 foot gap and that way we can drive all along this edge here on this side 
to get back through to water or to take our um, trailers and stuff back to get the animals loaded and that kind of thing. So it looks like from this front side. So we did a lot of work. I feel like we did a lot of work, but we still have tons more to do because we have to take, go down all that edge. That'll be 30 more posts that direction to the back. 32, I think, to get to the far corner back there and probably 60 to get back up to the front right up there. Um, we may not put them eight feet apart. We may just kind of, um, what we're doing is shoring up the fence. This side's better than all the other ones, but we're probably gonna come back through and where there's the old wood posts, not take it out, but they really aren't doing much. We'll probably just add another post in just to just to make it look better. Oh my god, I wonder what that is. It's like metal. Oh, I don't know what that is. Sticking out of the ground. Alright, I was just gonna walk up here real quick and show you the view from the house side porch makes it look different with a big old line of fencing seven foot posts out there it's totally different so okay see a little spike, spike thing here in the ground there we go so right here i am in the house officially in the house where's my other post Okay, here's the front corner post. There's the front corner. Can you see it? Right there. Front corner post. So I'm officially sitting outside on the back deck. You can't even see it. You can't even see that fence. There we go. That's what it's going to look like from sitting outside. And then I take like 12 or 10 feet back, I guess. And that's what it will be from the inside of our house, like that. And then this is the view of my, from the front of my house, right there. That's why I put the garden and the cute little fence over there. That keeps falling down. And I got another load of barks, check that out. So I have that bar load of bark to unload and that load of bark over there by the swing set still to unload on top of all the carpet boxes. So this is what it's going to look like from the actual front of my house. So I can walk out here. Um, I'm outside right now, I guess. So outside and then driveway coming from the front. We're going to do kind of a teardrop shape, kind of. It'll come all the way this direction, circle around, and something like that. And then the rest of all of it is going to be garden. Food to table garden, then my harvesting garden with my pumpkins and my corn. I would love to put a greenhouse in here. So let's all help John get me a greenhouse. <laughs> I would love an in-ground greenhouse that had a stable temperature and I would love to put it right out, right out next to that out there. Um, that's what I would love. I would love the, the radiant ground air coming up through it and I have plenty of space for it. So I'm holding out that he's going to build that for me right there next to my garden. And then up in the front of our property, I don't know if I've shared you this with you but um our plan this is the side this is the post right here for the side of our property and out the side of here we have to have the drive up along this fence line here but then on both sides of it we're going to put an orchard so we plan to put all kinds of fruit trees plums and apples and apricots, peaches. I'd even like to try almonds, but we're going to do older breeds, 
not very well known. I'm kind of on a waiting list for some apple start, apple tree seedling starts. So those are years in the making. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, there's my garden. I'll have to move that wood pile over here. So I don't have to walk so far to get to it. But we just dumped it off when we arrived. And we didn't want anything right here where the house is supposed to be because we're gonna have all kinds of trucks. And I believe that the well is gonna be up there. So we're gonna have that big truck coming in and we didn't want anything in the way of that, of the trucks and the builders and all kinds of stuff. All right, this is the view for this morning. I've got to circle back over here and keep on watering to try to, you guys, I really want some tomatoes. I really want to have some things make it through this grasshopper infested dry desert land. <laughs> it feels like it's, it is just so dry here. But some of them are starting to set fruit and I'm super excited. I just need to spend more time getting this bark on top so that it's covered and it looks better. I will make time for that. I was gonna come up here and show you. Look how good some of my tomatoes are doing. Look at that guy. And this one's Brad's Atomic Grape and it has flowers. Oh, can you see those? And check this guy out. This is another Brad's Atomic Grape. Look at him. Oh, I've never even planted this before. I am so excited. So excited. Look at this. One. Look how many blooms it has. I've stopped pinching these off. And so I'm just letting it happen now. It's huge. It's a big plant. This one kind of has a purple color to it. I don't know if you can see that. The stems are kind of purple and it is called Blue Bear Berries. I'm excited to see what those ones taste like. I have rows of tomatoes that have made it. Look at that. Anyway, we are just watering in hopes that these beautiful plants pay it forward with all the water that I've hauled to them and taking care of them. I feel like the ones up here look better that are in the bark. So I feel like having them tucked in, I guess, with this no dig style gardening really helps them look better or grow better. I think it helps the moisture stay into the ground. Look at that. This one's on the border of tucked in and not so much, but look, that looks better once it's done. Anyway, this is the view for this morning and the workload that I'm doing. Look how tall that is. That is huge. I would normally have a cage on it, but I don't have enough cages for this many tomatoes. So we're just going to wing it this year and I will plan better for next year. All right, well have a great morning.